Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saipullah and you are watching Saival Engineer at Site YouTube channel. So guys, today we will continue our series of Saival Engineering job interview question and answer. Today question and answer I take it from the Aramco standards. The people who want to work in Aramco as a site engineer or as a QC. So they should know about these questions. And in today's video, I am going to share 20 questions and their answer. As in all, the answer references are from the Aramco standard. So guys, before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and comment your question and suggestion in the comment section. If you want to contact me, you can contact me through my social accounts. Links are available and down in the description of the video or in the about section of the channel. So let's start the video. The first question, what will be the micro silica percentage by weight of semen while using as a mineral additive? If you are using silica as a mineral additive, so what will be the percentage by weight of semen? So the answer is 7%. The 7% will be the weight of silica by semen if you are using as a mineral additive. Second question, the strength of deformed steel used in Saudi Aramco projects is 422 MPa, tensile strength of deformed bar used in the Aramco project is 425 MPa. The third question, concrete rock cover required for permanently exposed surface to seawater. If you are working in Aramco project or onshore or offshore project and there is a seawater and the concrete will be exposed to the seawater, so what will be the cover you will use for the concrete? The answer is 7.5 7 cm or 75 mm. 75 mm concrete cover should be used for the concrete which is exposed to the seawater. The fourth question, maximum concrete temperature as per Aramco standard. Maximum concrete temperature is 32 degrees centigrade as per Aramco standard during casting. Fifth number question, what is the uh, slump value as per Aramco standard? So the slump value is perhaps is from 175 to 125 mm. The same is per SCI codes. Question number six, maximum allowed time to discharge concrete from batching time. The concrete casting time or the concrete, the allowable discharge concrete from batching time is 1.5 hour, 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, the concrete will be count as expired. So from batching time, you can discharge the concrete, you can cast the concrete within 90 minutes. Question number seven. The preli height of the concrete, it is, this is a 1 meter, everyone knows, it's also in the Aramco standard everywhere that you can cast concrete and the preli uh, concrete fall height is 1 meter. Question number 8, curing period should be continued or interrupted for 7 days in the Aramco standard and all the projects. Curing uh, period for the concrete structure is 7 days. Question number nine: Total dissolved solid (TDS) total dissolved uh, solids for the water which will be used in the mixing of concrete. So, what is the value of TDS for the water which will be used in the mixing of concrete? Is 500 ppm. 500 ppm will be the TDS value of water which will be used for the mixing of concrete. What is the meaning of ppm? Parts per million. Ppm mean parts per million. The tenth question, what will be the value of TDS for the water using for the curing of concrete? The water which you will use for the curing of concrete, the TDS value is 1000 ppm. 1000 parts per million will be the TDS value for water which will be used for the curing of concrete. Eleven number question. Thick, what will be the thickness of plastic which will be used as a vapor barrier beneath the foundation or where you have foundation or slab on it and you will use the plastic as a vapor barrier before the PCC or before the 
concrete. So the thickness of the con uh, the thick is 250 micron. 250 micron will be the thickness of plastic. In the general uh, projects in in Aramco projects, the thickness of the plastic will be 0.15 mm. 0.15 mm will be the thickness of the plastic which will be used as a wafer barrier under the beneath of the foundation question number 12 what is the ph value of water used in curing of concrete should not exceed ph value of curing water should not exceed from 6 to 8 ph value of the water which will use for the curing will be from 6 to 8 Question the 14th number question how many cylinders are cast for compressive strains for 28 days? How many cylinders you will use to cause for the con compressive strains after 28 days? You should cast four cylinder which will be checked or tested after 28 days is four. You should cast four cylinders. To check the compressive strength of the casted concrete after 28 days. Total number of cylinder will be 6. 2 will be checked after 14 days and the 4 will be checked after 28 days. 15 number question. The fresh concrete supplied to the job shall be tested by whom? If this is the important thing, maybe interviewer can ask if you are, want to start the concrete and you the concrete arrive at site so who will test the concrete? So the concrete will be tested by the third party at job sites during before casting at site. Question number 16. Minimum cement content for structural concrete. A minimum cement, like if you are designing the concrete for a structural columns, beams, slabs, slab on so what will be the quantity of cement in 1 cubic meter. So 350 kg per cubic meter cement quantity will be used for the structural concrete. Water cement ratio which will be used for the concrete, structural concrete is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 water cement ratio will be used for structural concrete sorry non-structural concrete water cement ratio used for non-structural concrete is 0 0.6 question number 18 water cement ratio for structural concrete is 0 0.4 for non-structural concrete 0 0.6 and water cement ratio and for a structural concrete is 0 0.4 19 number question while designing up a spot road traffic analysis period should be what will be the traffic analysis period when you are going to design a spot for a road so the answer is 20 years you have to keep in mind 20 years analysis period for designing a spot for a road the last question and the 20th question is what is the california bearing ratio cbr for a class a aggregate base course for a road work if you are working in a road work and you are using class a aggregate base score so what will be the cbr ratio uh, value california bearing ratio is 100 cbr value for the class a aggregate using in the road work is 100 so guys today i share 20 questions in the next video i will also share 20 questions for the from the aramco standard and specification so all the site engineer and qc engineer should study it very well before applying for QC approval or before applying uh, for jobs and when they are going to the job interview so they have to study it very well and inshallah you will get a, f a positive response if you pass the interview so guys please subscribe to our youtube channel for civil engineering kvqc engineer jobs and tips and tricks for the civil engineers life in saudi arabia thank you so much for watching the video